Come on. Just want to show you for problem retrievers, sometimes you get the odd dog um, that's not a great retriever, it's straight to hand now. Um, and sometimes it's actually put into the dog by the owner, handler, or whatever. So I'm going to show you quickly now how to to rectify some of the, the common problems. Now Tessie used to be one of these dogs that used to like to drop it and mess about with it. So we'll cure that, I'll just show you. Uh, it's just a 10 ball Tessie. Right, good to me. That's a good girl now. So these young dogs, we don't mind them jumping up a bit. Now what Tessie used to do is say she used to come within about a yard, then drop the ball. So it's best to start off, you see how keen she is now, I actually have to knock her off retrieving completely. So, how I started her back doing it, is coaching Tess, sit and sit, right? Now you, if you're watching, you pop the ball into the dog's mouth, hold its head up so it can't spit it. Good girl, good girl. Right, now she's spelt that right, because she, come here, good girl. And she's jumping, dead bird, right? So basically, what we did with her, if you actually give them the hold command, teach them a new command, hold, hold, Tessie, hold, good girl. Put the ball in the mouth, with the left hand just hold the chin up, tickle her under the armpit, good girl, and then take the ball out, dead bird. And she'll hold it now, obviously, I'm making her hold it longer than she normally would do, so she was getting a bit fed up there and wanting rid of it. But you will need to be in this position where you're behind her, right? You need to be forceful enough but firm so you're not hurting her good and you're not fighting good girl Tessie and hold dead bird good girl right so once you've practiced that and the dog's actually holding not trying to wriggle away and spit the ball out what we do then is you put the ball in good girl and hold and hold right now hang on it's good that she's done that because we can show you how to do it Tessie sit and sit and sit put the ball in Tess makes jump into me good girl Right, so you just ask it to come a little bit, test it, put the ball in, test it to me, good girl. Just half a yard, half a yard, that's all you need. And once you get the dog confident enough to bring you and it knows that there's no problem coming into you with the ball, good girl. Lots of praise. So I'll just show you that again. Test it and sit, sit. Fetch it on, fetch it on, good girl. Doesn't matter if she jumps up because you can sort that afterwards. The main thing is that you're getting that half a yard, you're teaching them that there's no need to drop it, it's okay to fetch it into you. Good girl. And then eventually, like I say, fetch it on. You'll end up with a dog that's confident. Come here, fetch it on, you idiot. You don't care if it's weird to dead bird. Good girl. Now, like I say, Tess was a really bad at this. This is not a given deal, this is half a given deal, and her mother was the same. So, as we can show you now, I'll show you with some of the other pups. But that's the way to cure it, is like I say, see how the dog's real comfortable sat there, put the ball in. Hold, hold, Tess, hold, good girl. Get them used to hold, good girl. They take the mind off the retrieve, because they're enjoying getting tickled, especially under here. Yeah, you love that, don't you? Right, pop the ball in. Good girl, Tessie, and hold, and hold. Yes, he's my clever girl, dead bird, good girl. And like I say, then, we'll just do it one more time. Come to me. That's it, that's it. Put the ball in. Fetch it on, fetch it on. Good girl. And that's how you, step by step, you break the cycle of dropping the ball short, or dropping the retrieve short. It's always best to start off with rolled up socks, something that the dog can grip in it. Right, I'm back in the snoring with, this is Midgey, right? So the same thing what we did with Midge, now Midge is a given Dale pup, she's a real good retriever anyway. Midgey, let's give her a name, come on into me, good girl, Midgey, so Midgey's on here five or six months. And sit. Good girl. Did you see how comfortable she is? Midgey. Get her to turn around into you. Good girl. And hold. Ah ah. Ah ah. See now. Now she just like 
We don't mess with them when they are retrieving straight to you, but I'll just go to show you. Good girl, I'm hold. Good girl, dead bird. Thank you. So you can just pop the ball in. As long as you're nice and gentle and you tickle them and take away that thought of, oh God, what's he doing to me? Good girl. Dead bird. Good girl. Good girl. Bitchy. Bitchy Tom. All the time we're encouraging them to come in. Good girl. Now as they get a little bit older, ah 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 ah, me to me, dead bird. We will make them hold it slightly longer because then as the pup grows, it grows in confidence, no, you're not having it back yet, it grows in confidence um, and mental confidence so that you can just apply that little bit more pressure and get the dog to do what you want. Itchy, 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 good girl, good girl. So that's all by just little short retrieves, just short retrieves. Everybody goes for big long retrieves, totally the wrong thing to do. Even up to like this age, six months, they all know that we're retriever training and they all the little pups now want to be out doing it. You can probably hear them in the background. Keep the retrieve short, two or three yards. Get that delivery right first, then you can move on to longer retrieves and hunting for tennis balls because you can't do any of the other until you've got a dog that's really confident at um, retrieving straight back to you. Mitchie, that's you, come on.